Yes, now the first thing is that uh, the meaning of mathematics uh, in that period was very broad. So there were, uh, today we are used to define mathematics in, uh, uh, differently. And uh, in, uh, uh, in the 17th century, mathematics included music, um, included optics, uh, mechanics, uh, and uh, gunnery, perhaps. Uh, um, and so um, we have, first of all, to appreciate the fact that mathematics had a, had a very broad, broader meaning than, uh, than today. Then, uh, uh, in the period, uh, mathematicians began to work outside uh, uh, the universities. So mathematics was not practiced only in the universities, but also outside at court uh, and uh, you know and uh, uh, many mathematicians were used uh, as engineers so we, we would say today uh, so this was uh, um, so there was a, a, a very wide array of interests uh, that uh, characterized mathematics in this period uh, I can mention fortification ballistic uh, I can mention hydraulics, uh, the regimentation of waters, navigation, cartography. So being a mathematician meant dealing with these, uh, you know, topics. Uh, in this period there is also another uh, interest. There is an interest, uh, I would say a humanistic interest, in uh, rediscovering um, ancient texts, mainly Greek texts. Uh, such as, you know, texts by Apollonius uh, or uh, Archimedes. And uh, we have also mathematicians who were actually humanists, if you like. I might mention Federico Comandino, for instance, uh, um, who devoted themselves to the rediscovery of uh, ancient Greek mathematics, higher mathematics, because uh, uh, what was discovered in this period, especially in the in the in the 17th century, was uh, that uh, Greek mathematicians were uh, producing um, um, results in uh, uh, very advanced areas. So Greek mathematics was not only Euclid's elements; there was something more in it. 